Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishore Swami and today we would be learning about reading a simple CAPTCHA. Uh, so to start with, uh, I'm using a public website and this website has a simple CAPTCHA. I mean, there is, it's not that much complicated. So to read this text, we are going to utilize the two different capability from Paga Robotic. One is uh, to take the screenshot and the second one is uh, reading the uh, image data using OCR capabilities. So first we'll capture the screenshot of this website and then we'll take that picture uh, through the OCR capability uh, to read the text out of the image. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and create a new project in your uh, Paga Studio or Visual Studio with plugin. Create an empty Paga project to read capture. Click OK. All right. So we have a project, uh, empty project ready. So we'll add a web adapter. And once we have our web adapter ready, just go ahead and add the web URL to the start page property. Let's go ahead and start the interrogation. and create the control for this CAPTCHA box. So this should be good enough. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, CAPTCHA image is there. And if you want to enter this text in uh, the text box, then you can also create the control for the text box and the button control. Now let's go to the automation file. And our first objective is to on the project load, we'll run this automation. Once we have this uh, started, we'll wait for this capture control. Since it's taking like more time than uh, the expected one so i'm using the other one and i'm gonna manually add the time curve. two to four and five once our capture image is ready uh it's loaded properly on the website then we'll take the screenshot so just select it and look for get screenshot method so 
once we have the get screenshot just extract a proxy image proxy and once we have the image proxy just use the same method for the image so we'll save this image in uh, a folder at the desktop so i'll just copy the path enter the file name with the uh, like capture.png so this image is now saved the sec the next thing that we need to do is sometime that uh, image uh, take a little time a little while to save it properly so we can add a little pose there So we can wait for a little while and it may be like uh, 60 seconds once we are done saving it we'll use the OCR capability to read the text out of the image and we'll use process to text and the image path is the same that we saved so it goes to the input file and OCR image and text we can make it to false we all always want to use only text not the images and the next option is colored background so in our uh, website it is just the white background so we don't really need a color background so we'll set it to false and the next is uh, low resolution so i don't think this is a low, low resolution text it's a high higher one so we'll set it to false again osha dictionary type is english or you can set it to normal and the language is english so these are the osha settings so once we have the text out of it we can first display in a message box so to see how it look like And at the same time, we can also look for how to extract only the capture values. So to just to extract the capture values, we have the two different options. One we can utilize the uh, rejects, and the another one is we can use the string manipulation option. So, so string utility we can utilize to just extract only the required text from uh, the image. So I'm going to use the string utility. all right so if you look at the website this captcha comes right after this search keyword so when it extract the text out of this image it will be extracting everything that we see on the image or on the website uh, and this uh, captcha is right just right after this search keyword so i'm using the second method instead of regex we can also utilize regex to pull out the required data uh, but since uh, uh, to use the regex we need to write a c-sharp uh, script here so we are not going to write it and instead we're going to use only the string utility uh, 
and the string utility will look for the index value of uh, the search keyword and then we'll pull out the uh, since the captcha has always like one two three four five six six digit it's a six digit uh, word so we'll will will look for the index value of search and then we'll add six plus uh, these uh, character in the search word and a little space that we have uh, before and after so it seems like uh, six plus uh, six uh, twelve and the two spaces is fourteen so we'll pull, uh, we'll pull out uh, using the index value we'll pull out the fourteen words right after the search so just first we'll look for the index value of uh, search so we can utilize a method called last index so i'll just have all the methods available there and i'll look for last index or we can also use if this is the only uh, word search on this entire website then you can use the index uh, since it may contain multiple search keyword but uh, this one is the last one so i'm using the last uh, or we can also use just the index so i'm using last index of from this text match value is search now it will give me an integer value which is the index value of search where the s key s word will start with now again we'll use uh, the same uh, string utility to pull out the substring since it would be like uh, the entire text would be in a one string but we need to just pull out only the captcha value so we'll use the substring and to use the substring we again going to use the string utility okay now to extract only the required values from that entire string since that the output is the uh, a complete string value that would contain everything from this web page so we'll just extract only the required value which is the captcha values so we'll use the string substring uh, option from our string utility so if you look at there are there are two method for substring so we'll use uh, with three parameter so just drag and drop connect it so this is the index value of search so we'll add to the index in the main text is or the main string is uh, that we are getting from the ocr and the length that we need is uh, six character for captcha six character for search keyword and the uh, before and after one one spaces so it's become 14 so we'll pull out the 14 character and then again we'll use the string uh, utility to replace the search uh, word out of this uh, text and le let's see what would be the out of uh, this utility value so we'll see the value first and once we have the result we'll replace this text out of this text would have the search and the captcha value both so we'll replace the search with a blank value so we would have only captcha value left there we go this is the string value all value is search and the new value is blank and the result and we'll see the result in a box and now we'll trim it up so the before and after spaces would be removed and well, let's add the trim value before it
Okay, let's go ahead and run it and see the output. There we go. So now it will capture the image and save it in the folder. That should be done. Yeah, we can see the image is there. Now it should be processing the OCR value. And this is the output of uh, the image text using uh, OCR capability. So it should contain everything from this web page. And once I click on OK, it will just display only the capture value. Yep, with the search keyword. And once I click on OK, it should just only display the capture values. There we go. So here we can see it is WPHGZ2. So it is matching exactly. So this output may not be consistent and 100% accurate all the time. So you can utilize a kind of a, a separate logic that will make sure we are always entering a correct value. So uh, separate logic means you can enter this capture value in the tag, click on submit. If it is not correct, then it won't take to the next page, next required page. Then you can again uh, uh, follow the same process to extract the te capture text again and do the same thing. So that's it in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. This is how you can read the cap simple captcha only from a website.